Supergirl? Supergirl. Please wake up. Hey. Hey. Ryan? Yeah. I think let's pull the Luther on us. On the bright side, I've never been knocked unconscious on an alien planet before. Oh, it's pretty much the same as being knocked unconscious on Earth. No broken bones. You'll be fine. Thanks. This definitely makes me question again why I'm here. I haven't got special powers. Well, you know, powers. I'm pretty much the dictionary definition of unspecial, and I definitely don't feel like I'm a paragon of anything, let alone humanity. Hey, wait. Are you sure you guys got the right guy? You left your family because someone you never even met told you you were needed. I'd say that makes you pretty special. I don't know, but hope. But you're definitely the paragon of pep talks. Years of practice. We need to catch up to Lex. How do you know where he's headed? Well, before he knocked me out, he said he was looking for universal domination, so... That hardly sounds like a newsflash. The universal part is new. But if I know him, he's looking to mess with Nobu's experiments, change history to his advantage. He really is a selfish asshat, isn't he? You really have no idea. What are you doing? I'm guessing you haven't flown on an alien planet either. I've never flown. No, but it's okay, Dr. Choi. You don't have to be nervous. It's just up, up, and away. It's over, Deegan. Go! I decide when the story ends. Come on, Oliver. Where are you? A gift from the monitor. Barry? Hey. Did you go out shopping for a new costume while you're supposed to be out saving the world? What? No, uh, no, it, no, it. It's a crazy long story, and you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Can I talk to you for a minute? Please? Can, uh, excuse us. Are you okay? What I'm about to tell you isn't gonna make any sense, but. You're not really here right now. You're actually in the speed force. I remember. I, I remember everything. Okay, well, in that case, uh, that arrow from the monitor. I always felt like there was something you weren't telling me. I didn't want to burden you with the choice I made. Choice to do what? You and Kara, Barry. You were fated to die trying to save the world. Before you died, you said you'd given up everything for me and Kara. You made some kind of devil's bargain with the Monitor to save us, didn't you? No, it wasn't a devil's bargain, Barry, and I'd make it again in a second. It cost you your family, Oliver. It cost you your life. Dying's the easy part. The dead are at peace. The real the heroes are the ones who have to keep going. Go find the others. 